Darren Elias. He is the one who defeated Daniel Negreanu yesterday in the quarterfinal of the PGT Heads Up Showdown. And Justin Young was the one who took out his friend Shannon Shore. Chino Reem also still in the mix. It might become the year of Chino Reem. And there is Isaac Kempton, the new kid on the block who beat not only Scott Seaver, but three more opponents to get to this point. And this is what everyone is playing for, the crown of the PGT Heads Up Showdown and $400,000 for the winner. Welcome to Las Vegas. My name is Rem Korinkama and I am joined by Donnie Peters for a one hour free preview of this PGT Heads Up Showdown semi-final. And it could all be concluded in the first hour because we only have two matches going on and at 8 p.m. Eastern time tonight, we will have the final playing for 400K inside the Bokogo studio. Here's a look at that beautiful studio. We have Chino Reem and Isaac Hampton on the outer table, Justin Young and Darren Elias on the main stage. Donnie, are you excited about the action today? What's up? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling great. I mean, 400K on the line. Can't, uh, can't not be excited about that. All these players are guaranteed 100K right now. I love seeing Darren Elias make it this far. He's got a bit of a hot run lately, making that WPT final table that was down in Seminole. Um, they're on a delay right now, but he just remains to be the end boss that everyone calls him. Justin Young obviously having a really good time. Return of Chino Reem. <laughs> we love it, right? And then obviously new kid on the block, Isaac Hempton making a big name for himself in this event, but also all year long. The Billionaires Boys Club, that is the <laughs> the sweater that Chino Reem is wearing. But fittingly so, because uh, he did beat Bill Klein in the quarterfinal. And uh, I guess that puts you right up in that club. Here is Isaac Kempton, defeated Scott Seavers, Scott Ball, and then Eric Person in the quarterfinal. Uh, Kempton, high on the PGT standings this year, came out of nowhere, started the year out with a huge score in a World Poker Tour event. And here's a look at payouts, 100K each for the semifinalists. And then we have 200K for the runner-up and 400K for the eventual champion, which we will crown today on Poker Go. 8 p.m. Eastern time is when the final will kick off on Poker Go only. Commentary provided by Brian Rast and Ali Najad. Once more, my name is Rem Karinkama. I am here for the Circus Show, as you guys are used to by now, on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. First of all, let me ask everyone who's tuning in right now, where are you watching from? And what are you drinking? I'm having a Diet Coke. Donnie's on his ninth coffee of the day. Second coffee. No, yeah, uh, third. Third. With the size of these coffees, it basically is like yeah, nine this coffees. Is, this would, yeah, th so this would constitute my fourth then. <laughs> All I right. had two, two mugs at home, and then I had this, uh, this Trenta from Starbucks here. Oh, a Trenta. Or a ven Venti, sorry. Of, oh, even not just a yeah, Venti. Yeah, I, I, I dumbed it down because I had two at home. You know, I, I, I wasn't feeling the Trenta. You're tapping your feet. I think I think you've had enough caffeine for today. Uh, diving into the action here, Young versus Elias. Let us know who you're rooting for. Let us know who you want to see in the final. Two God, very he's got the North Face out. I mean, that's when you know it's serious. <laughs> I was going to say, if you Google Darren Elias and you go to the Images tab, you'll see lots of... You know who's commentating today? I think Nick is. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's awesome. No, it's <laughs> Donnie and Remco. Come on, guys. The experts. Donnie and Remco on the Circus Show. And let me say here right off the bat, if we hit 500 likes on the video today, we will give away another mystery box. Uh, for those that won yesterday, I will get in touch with you today and we'll send them out on Monday so you get them in the mail. The mystery box from PokerGo will include a signed item by one of your favorite a players. A lot of people drinking coffee. Really? A lot yeah. of coffee? Is a coffee South hour? Florida, coffee. Rhode Island, coffee. Indiana, coffee. Northern Canada, special coffee. Probably Tim Hortons. Special coffee, maybe some Baileys in there? Coffee in Monterey. There's just coffee everywhere. The only person uh, responding to us on Twitch, his name is Cam Chow, says USA PBR. That's right. <laughs> Pabst Blue Ribbon, baby. I used to drink that stuff in college. Now if I had a sip, I might die. But Man. It's, it's amazing what we used to do when we were younger. Oh, yeah. Since hitting the mid-30s, uh, alcohol consumption has gone down considerably because I know the effects of it will be uh, uh, <laughs> multiplied in the morning. Officer Doofy uh, criticizing the field here. Uh, he said every person that advanced to the semis is the one we didn't want to see. I think it's a bit harsh, Donnie. I think we have a really good sort of setup here. I mean, I, I like it. I can get excited about anyone, so I, I'm not too worried about, you know, not having a Negranu or a Helmuth or a Seidel in here. 
Darren Elias is an absolute crusher. He's the end boss for a reason. I think it's four WPT titles, also one WPT TOC. He's at the WPT seminal final the table right now with the uh, chip Scotch. lead. Justin Young is just awesome. I, like, I mean, he's a great guy. Well, but, yeah, he's a WPT champion in his own right. I know he doesn't play the just tournament just scene, to at least from a traveling bit. aspect as much as he once does, but I was like, no, you got problems um, when that's certainly your goal. comes out to some of our PGT <laughs> events here pressure. at the studio, <laughs> also plays a lot of cash game <laughs> stuff Savage around Las Vegas. And anyone who shows up you know, at, at noon with a whiskey in taste hand for like is, is my kind of or something like that. I just can't do it, man. I, it's like just... I can't do it either. Tequila. Tequila soda's all right. I'm, just, I, I'm sure tequila tastes good now, but... I had a bad experience in high school, and I just I can't. Scarred. Yeah, just just can't do it anymore. I haven't even tried to be fair, but it says a lot that the guy who I've literally never seen without a single malt in his hand, saying that he cannot stomach tequila. I find that really funny. Yeah, and it, it all goes back to high school. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, for the people in the chat, 500 likes on YouTube, and we will do our first mystery box giveaway. 500 likes. Not that hard. We have tons of people watching. Appreciate everyone tuning in as always. If you have any questions for us, please let us know. And Cam Chow coming in with a hot take saying water is the best beverage without saying always number one. I totally agree with that. I love water. Ace High versus King High here on the Queen Queen 10 with two spades. Young has the backdoor spades. Six on the turn. Gives a pair to Justin Young. starting with 200k, 100 big blinds deep. Yeah, what do you think about the structure, Donnie? We, we've we seen plenty of matches end in the first 45 minutes, but there were also a few that went over two hours. Do you think this is a, a balanced structure that works well for this tournament? Yeah, I think it's fine. I mean, you also have to you come in understanding that, you know, part of it is a made-for-TV aspect, right? So you're not going to be able to sit out there and grind for 12 hours in one match. It's just not how this has to work out. Um, that said, you're also heads up, so in theory you should be getting to play more hands. You should be playing more hands. You should see more hands just in general because it's only two of you guys. You know, the dealer can get those hands out quicker and go through the action that way. So it's not it's not bad. I heard, heard a, I've, I mean, I've heard both things. I've heard the structure's fine. I've heard the structure could use some improvement. So, you know, we'll see. These guys now, 100 big blinds deep to start, I think it's fine. Would you say it might be better to do a faster structure, but then do best of three, or one match with a slower structure? Sorry. One match. I, I don't. If they do best of three a at all, just for the final, maybe the semifinals. Yeah. But. You know. There he is. Looking at Chino Reem, former main event finalist, three-time World Poker Tour champion. Fourth on California's all-time money list. And last I checked, California is about the size of France. So that's a <laughs> really California might be bigger than France. I don't even know. <laughs> California is bigger than most countries. The, uh, the return, the resurgence, whatever you want to call it, of Chino Reem is certainly awesome. If the GV GPI Awards had a comeback player of the year, I'm putting Chino at the top, at least right now. Jack. See what happens at the World Series in the summer. Ace high turned into top hair for Reem, while Kemzet has king high, giving him a Broadway draw. If you're enjoying the coverage of this inaugural PGT Heads Up Showdown, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. It helps our channel a lot, and we are committed to releasing one video every single day, seven days a week, all year round. So if you love poker, even if you're not a PokerGo subscriber, just hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. It's a good start. It's the gateway drug, Donnie.
<laughs> it is the gateway truck. Chino out to a decent lead here early on. 100k gap. He's up 50k. Do you think Chino's live experience trumps whatever solvers Kempton has been studying in this type of format specifically? Yeah, it might. I, I don't. I don't think Kempton's like a total solver guy. Okay. I think he's got some decent uh, live poker chops. You know, maybe not as seasoned as Chino Thanks. is, but I think he's certainly well versed on the li live scene. That you know, we're gonna see some some good play all around. I think all four of our semifinalists here, you know, have a good blend of like they they understand the analytical side of the game, the solver stuff to a degree. They might not be you know the nerdiest guys on the planet, um, but they have a good understanding there. And then on the other side, they have a really good understanding of, you know, live poker, reading ability, all that sort of stuff. It is kind of wild for me to go back in time and think back of, was it 07 when Shino Reem made the main event final table? That f that's 15 years ago, and Reem has been doing it every single year, notching up score after score. It's very impressive. I mean, I've always said that when, when the buy-ins are big, when they're five figures or higher, I think I'd put Chino Reem up there with anyone, just in terms of ability to compete on the live tournament felt. He he. I mean, at least in the past, you know, I, I don't know about this kind of new and improved Chino, but in the past he's always kind of, I guess, punted a little bit <laughs> on the lower <laughs> buy-ins. Happy New Year to Isaac Kempton. I said earlier the World Poker Tour book, because that, but that of course was the win millions where he finished second for a million bucks. And then, of course, he danced his way into the studio, third in a USPO event for 130K, sixth for 73K, and currently that puts him fourth on the PGT standings, which, of course, Donnie, at the end of the year, will lead to, possibly, the biggest free roll that these high rollers have ever seen. Yeah, I mean, I'll say it, it is the biggest free roll that these high rollers have ever seen. 500K on the line, top 21 finishers on the PGT leaderboard will get an invite to come compete. Um, you will get your starting chip stack will be based on the points that you earn through over the course of the season. And then we'll start with three seven-handed tables, play down to a winner-take-all, half a million dollar champion. I mean, that's not I think like last year there was, I think there was 350K, it was 200, 150 for the top three. Changed it up a little bit format-wise this time. Up the prize money, so let's go. Chino Reem, meanwhile, winning lots of pots here. Winning all the small pots in heads-up poker is incredibly crucial because it allows you to get into a big flip and still have some money left. A quick shout out to everyone tuning in. I'm going to do a special sort of in-between giveaway since 500 likes seems far away. If we can get 50 new subscribers to the YouTube channel, we'll do a giveaway right now. 50, only 50. Let's go. So smash subscribe right now and we'll do that giveaway in just a few minutes. Do you know what's in the mystery box? Are you in charge of that? I mean, yeah, I'm kind of in charge of it. I think we're going to get with Tim Duckworth as well. Here's a look at the spades and clubs region of the PGT Heads Up Showdown. Justin Young and Darren Elias facing each other right now on the big stage. But you can also see Dan Legrano won his first match against Lesnick. Then he beat Nakamura and he fell to Darren Elias last night. Elias himself, who beat Eric Seidel and Landon Tice on his way to the semifinals. Diamonds and Hearts regions here on the other side of the bracket. You can see the road that Sheena Reem had to travel was <laughs> off to a very tough start beating Nick Schulman, then Jeremy Osmus, and he had a wonderful match against Bill Klein, who everyone was rooting for. Oh, and Bill a late one, too. And Bill Klein said it himself. I'm just quoting here. That these are not my words. When Jeff Flood asked him, you know, what, is, what feels so good about winning in poker, Bill Klein said, and I quote, it makes my nipples go hard, end quote. Got all of Bill Klein's national treasure. <laughs> Elias throws in the time bank as Young has fired out a large bet. Young going for it here, clearly representing a straight. Don't think Elias is going to fold, and he doesn't. 
Wow, huge chip lead here right away Big for lead, yeah. Elias. It's still incredible to me, every time I see Darren, seeing him perform on, on this type of stage, he, obviously we've talked about his World Poker Tour success, still doesn't have a WSOP bracelet. It's like, <laughs> what's it going to take, <laughs> man? Like, you know, it's, it's crazy. He seems to crush it everywhere and all this sort of stuff. Last night when Elias made his way to the semifinal after beating Negranu, I said to him, it's going well for you today, huh? And he goes, it's easy when you have a horseshoe up your ass. <laughs> well, you know, at least he's honest. He recognizes the situation. All right, we need uh, 34 more subscribers on YouTube for our first giveaway. So smash subscribe on YouTube, even if you're watching elsewhere. Please join us on YouTube. That's what we do our giveaways. Everyone must have like, got drunk last night or something. They're a, they're a little bit slower to, <laughs> to sub and like. and I guess all that coffee earlier hasn't kicked in yet. I know. We're still waiting for the coffee to kick in. Um, Darren Elias uh, started his coffee early today, as uh, evident by him feeling sharp here at the start of the day. Does Darren Elias drink coffee? I'm not know. sure I've seen him drink anything. No, beer. I've seen him drink beer. I mean, we know what Justin Young drinks, and it's oh, not yeah. coffee. It's always whiskey. Young with the button. Decides to limp. Given his stack size now, he might turn to limping in instead of raising preflop from the button. Scott Elliott says, big Chino Ream fans, Chino FTW. Last I checked, that means four to win, so that's all right. Maybe we can see him take this down. Let us know in the chat, who are you rooting for? Who, uh, who do you want to assign that FTW chant? Twitch, Ol Ola Moose on, chi on Twitch says, Chino the man, the rest fish. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far, but <laughs> <laughs> he might be the man. I don't know if these other guys are fish, though. <laughs> these are two heads-uppy hands, like hands you want to play, hands you can't play, hands with a lot of potential. Play every hand, so. I know, that's true. Well, this is interesting. Here we go. Uh, Ritwick is... Rooting for Reno Cheem. <laughs> he needs more coffee. <laughs> you guys see the players in the background. That's uh, an Aria High Roller that's going on in the studio as well. Some PGT points up Some for grabs. PGT points are up for grabs there. If you got, uh, I think it's 10K. If you got 10K, come on down. Can I borrow some? You can get free Javier's all day if you just play. It only costs you 10K. Wow. That's a good deal. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is. <laughs> Important pot here for Justin Young, who's on the short stack versus Elias. Darren looks so mean, but he's, he's the nicest guy. The end boss. The seven wins here. Let's see if Justin Young wants to take a stab at it in a small pot. So I wonder if uh, Justin would be a little gun shy here, given that he did just try a pretty big bluff and it, it didn't work. Darren sniffed that one out, so. Shorter stack, maybe he backs off here. I found the one Isaac Kempton fan on YouTube. Bowery Boy says, the new Jack kid. Hunt. Well, listen, he's not the only. You and I are Isaac Kempton fans. <laughs> I mean, he's great. If, if anyone's heard his interviews, he's, he's awesome. He's certainly confident. Not afraid to uh, make some comments, stir the pot, put himself out there. So, yeah, I'm a fan of him. I hope he sticks around the scene for quite a time. I'm curious whether he's Scott Seaver's son. Darren Elias. Darren to be great. Elias closing in on a title. Live caches. I mean, look at the screen. 161. 19 third place finishes. Six second place finishes and 13 wins. That's the ratio that it's all about. Once you get the heads up play, winning 13 out of 19 matches, uh, that sort of classifies him as a closer, a.k.a. the end boss. I mean, Darren's a crusher, man. I don't know what else to say. Anytime Darren Elias gets chips, it's pretty much game over for everyone else involved. Lots of Elias fans in the chat. It's sort of between Elias and Reem. Those definitely have the most fans right now. And those two have a chance to go heads up if they both win the semifinal match. Exactly. How are we looking on those subs? 
Are people subscribing? What's the deal? No, people are not subscribing. The the fans are disappointing us right now. I we wish need I could to boot people. We need 20 more. Alarm's going off here in the studio. I guess it's time for us to go. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Three bet from Young here with the King Nine suited. I'm gonna miss the fire alarm at the Rio. Yeah, the flashing lights. Yeah. When no one moved. No one. <laughs> If you're coming out to the WSOP, let us know in the chat. It's just around the corner. Elias gives up the 10-8 offsuit. This might be the first pot that Young's won. Okay, just get that first one. Get the momentum going. Patrick A says, it's it's not right what the guy did to Helmuth. He should have been taken away. Well, no. He should not <laughs> have been taken away. Alina Jout's predictions, which we really don't care about, so I'm not even going to read them. Donnie, this is all about us. Who do you think is going to win? I'm going with the same predictions as Alina Jout. Wow. That is... Okay, I'll flip it then. I'll go for the same predictions in the semis, and I'll have Shinarim winning it. All right, all right. Sounds good. Uh, Southern Creek Walker is asking if Daniel's still in. No, Daniel busted two Darren Elias last night on the stream. Kevin Thiel says, you can subscribe if you already have. And that's why we love you, Kevin. We love every single person that is already a sub to our channel. Yeah, join Kevin and be a sub. Let's go. Exactly. You can uh, claim uh, one free high five at the WSOP from myself if you are a YouTube subscriber. Dr. Shepard is asking, is that, is that rude a-hole who beat Helmut still in? No, he lost to Isaac Kempton in the quarterfinals did, did last the night. The people that are coming out, I mean, do they think Helmuth has not been rude <laughs> for the last 20 years, 25 years? Well, what do they think when he calls a guy an idiot from Northern Europe on TV? Um, like is seven, that not rude? Like, like seven times. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's the, it's the same thing. The bully got punched in the mouth, and the bully couldn't handle it. <laughs> I do want to know from the chat, do you think that, you know, Helmut deserved what he got what he got in that match versus Eric Person? Or should have should have both players have gotten penalties? I mean they both got warnings. Right. right. I mean I don't think you can give it's a weird format too to give a penalty. What are you gonna give a penalty? Hey guys, come back in twenty minutes. Like you're not <laughs> nothing's gonna happen because it's just you two playing. It's not like there's six other players at the table that are then gonna continue. So it's kind of a weird format. I thought uh, tournament director Paul Campbell handled it well. You know, he issued that penalty to Person, and then Helmuth kept going. He issued a penalty to Helmuth. I mean, he handled it as good as they could. Both of them went a little bit crazy, and, yeah, it was fine. Young with top hair on the flop. Now the ace pops up on the turn, and Elias decides to bet. Young check calls. Elias has outs. That's not one of them. Queen. Check. Queen wins. Young gets some very important chips back, chipping up to over 100k. The comments are great. I mean, it's Helmut deserved it. It's her <laughs> person went over the line. They should settle it in a cage fight. Well, I mean, I'm taking person in that one. <laughs> Definitely. All right, we hit our number on the YouTube subscribers. We do want to give back to you guys, to the community. So if you are in the YouTube chat right now, I'm about to think of a ridiculous question. You guys have to just answer it. I want to pick a random winner. So it doesn't even matter what you say. As long as you answer the question, you'll be in the draw, and it will give you, one of you, a Pokemon mystery bag that includes at least one signed item. And I have it on good authority. It'll be between... Negrano, Esfandiari, Shulman, Nick Wright, one of those guys. Check. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. The question for the first giveaway. Who will win the match between Darren Elias and Justin Young? Let us know in the chat right now. One entry per person, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, like, you're going to check. <laughs> A little sip there for Justin Young. And let me tell you right now that if you want to sign up for Boca Go, use promo code HEADSUP22 for $20 off the annual plan. Watch High Stakes Poker, the WSOP, and much, much more. We have it all on Boca Go, which also includes tonight's final of the PGT Heads Up Showdown with commentary by Ali Najat and Brian Rast.
And if you sign up now, you know it's on Monday. A new episode of High Stakes Poker with Eric Person. There you go. So if you liked Eric Person's antics, or possibly you didn't like him and you want to see him lose playing 500,000 No Limit Hold'em, he will be on Monday's episode of High Stakes Poker. Terrific. And Cut off shirt and all. And they're playing 501K. Yes. 501K Monday High Stakes Poker. Tune in. And if you want to I mean, it's, it's also like it's Daniel, it's Phil Ivey, it's Patrick Antonio, so it's, it's the goats of the goats. Exactly. And if you want to uh, join our watch party on Discord, discord.gg slash pokergo. That's where Donnie and I will be during the premiere of the new episode of High Stakes Poker. All right, let me pick a winner here for this random draw for the giveaway. The winner is Richard Spur. Richard Spur. He said Darren Elias. That also is about a 90 to 10 split here on the Darren Elias fans. And, of course, he has the chip lead, so understandable there. Richard Spur, join our Discord, discord.gg slash poker go. Big hand. And then just send a message to Remco. That's me. R E M K O. If you were Fox and you would have made it 15,000 there. You would have made it 15,000 there. <laughs> Good option. For an event like this, Donnie, it's the Ollie first time the ever that we're Same doing it. Is it. How much does the prestige matter for going, these so four guys to be the first? I think it's pretty prestigious. I mean, it's a it's a 25k buy-in, 32 player heads-up tournament. You know, some of the best players in the world. I think it's going to be highly sought after, highly respected. Um, you know, both on a personal level, but also within the community. Gio Espinoza donated two dollars, or 199 to be exact. He also predicted Darren Elias. Sorry, he didn't win G uh, Gio, but bribing us does not work. But I do appreciate the effort. A big hand here. Four bet from Reem to 164K. Pocket eights. Kempton thinking about it with a king queen off. So, Donnie, what do you think? I mean, I think you have to fold. Obviously, I can see the hands, but. That one hurt. You know, I, d I don't hurt. think Chino's. Would you fold? Gonna be doing that late. Good hand, I thought, but not good enough to call that. I had it. <laughs> King, queen. I mean, if eights are it, then yeah, you had it. <laughs> that is a good hand. I mean, come on, how can you not love this guy? I know. Isaac Kempton's great. Suited, do you call? Probably not. Mm. Isaac Kempton's first <laughs> I would think recorded for cash on his Hendon Mob is a win. Wow. I think he won like a WSB circuit event in Florida. There's not many people that can say that. And his Twitter he says he's a full time crypto trader. Full-time crypto trader. I, lo I love it. I love this new poker world we're in. That is the most made-up <laughs> job ever. <laughs> well, it used to be, you know, full-time stock trader was the made-up job. No, entrepreneur. <laughs> entrepreneur, yeah. What do you do for a living? I'm an entrepreneur. I try to be an entrepreneur in, in my downtime. It's not really working. But you can still call yourself an I entrepreneur. I can still call <laughs> me. It doesn't matter if I, I succeed or fail. I can still call myself an entrepreneur. Trips here for Kempton to get some money back, but sadly, Reem doesn't have anything on this board. King on the River would be interesting, though, but it is a six. Tucson Striker says, when does Kempton graduate from Las Vegas Middle School? Well, Kempton is here playing a 25K bind, and you are in the YouTube chat. So I guess well, you're Tucson, Tucson, if that's the same Tucson Striker, he's also in the Discord channel. <laughs> I think he does a lot of complaining, too, in the Discord channel. So Probably because he can't afford to play these events. That's you can't hate when young kids get into the game. I know. I love to see this. It's few and far between these days. You have to 40, welcome 000. them in. 40,000. River Rays here from Kempton. Some some Hollywooding here from Reem. Maybe he wants to call with King High. Good hand. Into the muck. Huge match for these players. 
they're all guaranteed 100k, but winning the semi-final match will double that to 200k. Interesting how Chino just he just stares at his opponent the whole time, whole time. I love how you hit this table so hard that our screens went out. Well, th this one's been <laughs> going out for a while. Mm, whatever, we don't really need it. We can just make it up. Two big hands here. Campton flopping a straight. Reem having the ace high. No spades for either player though. People being very hurt in the chat. I love everyone in the chat, just not the ones that are... Hurt about what? That I said that people are in the YouTube chat and not in the tournament. Well, I only mentioned that to Mr. Stryker, who was giving Kempton a hard time. Yeah. Kempton can't defend himself, so Remco's here to do it for him. Exactly. He says, lighten up, can't take a joke. Well, I guess you can't take a joke either. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Um... John Dunbar on Facebook says, rooting for Reem. Donnie, give us a little bit more context on the person Chino Reem. I think he's changed a lot over the last few years and is, is working very hard on sort of the, I guess, the second wave of his career. Yeah, I mean, I think Chino's issues have been have been out there in the public. But, you know, there was the money stuff that went on for many years with Chino. But, you know, talking to a lot of people within the community... Um, you know, people with sort of a higher standing that are more involved in this space than, than I am from, from the outside, you know, they seem to think Chino's on the right path, you know, to, to bettering his life. I know he's gone through some, uh, some tough things more recently, um, but by all accounts, 75? he's 75? certainly in the right direction. I think you can see it just a lot in, like, his body language, the way he's acting, his personality, his attitude at the table, that sort of thing. I mean, he looks good. In terms of like you know health-wise that sort of stuff. So yeah, again I said earlier you know the comeback, the resurgence, whatever you want to call it. Chino Reem is back. Chino Reem is back, and and I'll say it. Listen, I'll say it again. Chino Reem in a 10k plus event, like I would bet on him. He performed super well at the U.S. Poker Open. He's obviously here performing super well in the PGT Heads Up Showdown. I'm assuming he's going to be out at the World Series of Poker, playing everything. So yeah, I think he's been going to the gym every single uh, morning. If you follow him on Instagram, he was telling me the other day actually that he's locked out of his Twitter account. He can't get back in. He doesn't know how to get back in. Oh my god! Um, but he's active on uh, Instagram now these days. I think every day at like 7 a.m. or something, he's in the gym. Wow! Five or six days a week. So you know, good good on Chino. That is good. Reem here with the dominant hand. However, Kempton has quite a few outs. The flush draw and the gut shot. Seven on the river doesn't change a thing. What you have? Oh, never mind, never mind, you're good. Just in case, check. Just down. <laughs> King high. Th this kind of check, you know, checking an ace back on the river here, d does that sort of play into Chino's history as a live player where if you were more of a modern style player you would always bet for value here? Yeah, probably. I mean Ch Chino's I would say very much a field player. It also seemed like there might have been something kind of tricky that went on there. Maybe maybe Chino checked back before Kempton had actually checked something. He was like, you know, I'm just going to check. Little overview here of our semi-finals. Kempton, Reem, Elias, and Young. Young, the oldest, 42. Reem, 41. Elias, 35. And Kempton, the young kid on the block, 24 years old. I mean, look at these career earnings. Chino on top here, 11.9 million. Zero bracelets for any of these players, but many of them have already gotten close, and I can already only imagine that some of these guys might be heads up for some gold this summer at Bally's. That's weird to say, because we're moving away from the Rio. 
Bath. That is weird to say. Bally's Paris. Soon gonna be the horseshoe. No, now that's gonna be cool. It'll be it'll be cool when it's the horseshoe, yeah. And I will expect Helmets to rock up on a horse. <laughs> I hope so. Um, meanwhile, for those interested in the uh, Justin Young Darren Elias match, the stack sizes are still roughly the same: 267k for Elias, 133 for Young. So he's made a slight comeback, but the stacks are still deep. So anything's still possible in that match as well. We've just been seeing a bit more action from this table as of late. They're also more chatty on this table. Yeah. Offer still stands. If we hit 500 likes on the YouTube video, we'll do our next mystery box giveaway. So don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Jacob Bully says the commentators are mocking the chat pros because they are broke. Yes, I am broke. Okay. Leave me alone. If you guys want to play poker with Donnie and I, we will be in the $80 nightly at South Point. I think it's a $60 nightly, okay? $80 yeah. is a little bit too much. $60 nightly. <laughs> That's even better. We're just out here to have some fun, guys. Do appreciate everyone tuning in. Listen, if I can't come here, hang out, <laughs> rip on the chat a little bit, I'm just not going to come in. I'm not coming to work. Ric Ricardo in the <laughs> chat says, the more I listen to these commentators, the more I like them. I mean, checks in the mail, Ricardo. Appreciate the shout out. If people have any questions for us, do send them in. Matthew Wills, Ma Matthew Whitson saying, where was Doyle? Um, I believe the invite was extended to Doyle Brunson. Doyle just doesn't play the tournaments these days. No. It's the long days, you know, it can just get to him. He prefers the cash games. Where he can just come and go as he pleases. I mean, listen, can't blame him. Big and important pot here for Justin Young, Donnie. Do you think he'll be able to find the call here with ace high? I mean, this is... It's a tough spot given his chip deficit again. Like, you know, just going back to the fact that Elias has him with two and a half to, to one. I mean, recapping the action here, Elias raised b before the flop to 6,000. Then on the flop, Young check called 3,500. On the turn, he check called 16,000. And then he checked again on the river, and Elias bet 27,000. So the way in which Young played this hand makes me think that he is ready to call this off with ace high. Yeah, I mean, I would think that a, a paired river card here, paired king on the river specifically, kind of doesn't change much. It keeps the street the same as before. That said, Justin Young could be viewing that like, well, that means Elias has something, and he's betting for value here, so it's going to be tougher for me to call with my ace high. And that's kind of what he's going through right now, using these time banks. Crucial pot here for this match. If Young calls, and we can see that he is right, he will take down a big one. But I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> My, uh, my my poker coach told me that usually when things are like, what the fuck, I don't know what to do, just fold. Oh, really? Yeah. That's you why know. I lose so much. <laughs> you know. I mean, listen, I was very I much went through a stage you where it was like, what the hell do I do? Get to I guess I call. It's true. But should do the other thing. Should fold. Hopefully Cards in the muck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Big Toe is asking, was Ivy invited? He definitely was. Phil Ivy was definitely invited. Three, six. Ivy, Ivy could be in Europe still. Who Who knows? Ivy's probably in a great game right now somewhere. Ivy's back. I we, think we, we heard a very spicy Ivy story. Yes, and we won't say anything. But <laughs> I think there's the potential. Or the potential has gone up. Yes. In terms of him playing a big schedule at the World Series of Poker. That's all we're gonna say. That's so all. get excited. Yes. Pretty much all we need is big cash games, not to run in the rest of the world, <laughs> and we'll get full Ivy. Young here faced with a three bet. Oh! Cheat. All in and a call, Donnie. We have an all in go. pocket threes or trays, as some like to call him, against the ace queen offsuit. We're in about as pure of a coin flip as we can possibly be. I mean, Young doesn't look too happy, but I don't think he, he should look that horrible given that his pair is five. ahead. Wow. 35 big blinds for Justin Young into the middle here. His tournament life at stake. And a spot in the final up for grabs. 
Classic flip. That's right. That's kind of weird. Maybe I'll just look up there and not. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Young giving us a show. 10-10 ten, oh, ten king. Know. Yep. <laughs> Still a flip. About as many outs as possible for Darren Elias without actually do it, do it being ahead. I'll do it on the turn. Oh, there it is. Ten or a three for Justin Young to stay alive here after Darren Elias made Broadway. Queen on the river. Darren Elias' Broadway holds up against the pocket pair of Justin Young, and he moves on to the final, securing a 200K payday, playing for 400K in the final at 8 p.m. Eastern today. Justin Young chugs down his glass of whiskey. Hmm, he doesn't look too happy. That was a quick one, Donnie, seeing Justin Young exit the room. I did not expect this to go this fast. Lost the flip. I'm sure we'll be hearing from Darren Elias shortly as Jeff Platt is on the floor. He's got, he's got to get the mic off. I guess the more we talk, the better it is. Yeah. I'll talk to you anytime. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right, Darren Elias, the first player to make the final in the inaugural 2022 PTT Heads Up Showdown. As you can see, four places paid, so Justin Young will not go home empty-handed. He collects $100,000 for his efforts. And we're going to see a lot of the match between Chino Reem and Isaac Kempton. Short little break here as we get set up for the Kempton and Reem table on the main stage. If you guys have any questions for us, please let us know. And as Donnie said in the chat, join us on Discord, discord.gg slash pokergo. We do. Oh, well, Darren, let's forget about that last hand for a second. You told me earlier that you thought Justin would be a, a unique kind of creative opponent. Did you sense that kind of challenge in him? Yeah, he's a skilled cash game player, so plays deep stacks, creative, capable of a lot of things. So he's always a tough opponent to play against. How does it feel to be moving on to the finals? Great. It's exciting. I um, guess we'll wait around and see who I'm playing, but uh, it will be fun. We've discussed this before, but it seems like you kind of think more and more about the win every step up this ladder. What's your thought process now? Are you letting any kind of pressure get to you in this spot? Um, I kind of just want to get it over with at this point. I'd like to play, and uh, happy it's two out of three in the final. Maybe, maybe that uh, adds more skill to it, I think. But I hate to break it to you. I don't think it's two out of three. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you do get more chips to start, though. Okay, Okay, that's good. Okay. We'll see you in the finals. Thanks, Darren. Appreciate it. <laughs> Darren Elias hoping to uh, change the structure of this tournament here at the uh, poker player. 11th Never hour. Never read an instructor sheet. <laughs> Ever. In a million years. I've yet to meet a poker player who has looked at the structure sheet. Until it's like level 8, and then they're like, oh, you forgot a level. <laughs> you could have told us that, you know, a week ago. When does Reg close? Ooh, this could be a big one too, Donnie. An ace for both players. Kempton in a tough spot here. Kempton's taking the chip lead, though. Check. Another check behind from Reem. Oh, he does not that, look happy. That's the, that's the sigh of, I could have got value, and a lot of it. Reem maintains a very okay. small okay. chip lead. Sounds like they're going to move him up to that main feature table. All right, we're moving Chino Reem and Isaac Kempton to the main feature table here inside the PokerGo okay. studio in Las Vegas. And by the way, if you are a huge poker fan watching the stream right now, try that door whenever you're walking by the studio to see if something is going on inside the room. Uh, we're on a short break. We'll keep you entertained while this is going on. Um, I've been told it's about a 30-second break, so won't be too long. Um, while we're at it, Donnie, how about we just put the remainder of this semifinal for free on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch? However... You think the bosses are going to let us do that? They might if we get something in return for it. So please, let's get to 500 likes. Let's get 50 more subscribers on YouTube, and we'll show the remainder of the match between Chino Reem 
and Isaac Kempton. So you guys will know who will be in the final, which will be on Pokego only starting at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And there they are, Chino Reem and Isaac Kempton on the feed. You guys have 15 minutes left to get up to 500 likes and to get us 50 more subs on mm. the YouTube channel. Isn't that like the lowest threshold imaginable, Donnie, for some extra content? Yes, I would think so. Speculative low cards here for both players. Oh, now we're motivated all of a sudden in the chat. Yeah. Now everyone the is motivated. The likes just shot up. We're up over 400. Let's <laughs> go, people. Let's go. Also, listen. It makes us look good the more you like the channel. Specifically, Remco and I. Please. <laughs> more specifically, Remco, because this is kind of his job. He's the, the video guy. <laughs> Please help him. Uh, Chris McWimberly, by the way, tremendous name on Facebook. He says, I got the pull for the youngster this round. He pulls it off and more young people will get interested. Good luck to them all. That's kind of cool. I, th I think I agree with that. If a young player does well and you're watching this at home and you're you know, a young and up-and-coming player yourself, you're going to be motivated by the fact that someone that you can identify with is doing very well, right? I can't disagree. I'm... I, you know, I know we're not supposed to have rooting interests here. We're supposed to be just staying on the sidelines, completely unbiased. I will always root for the story. Here we have two stories. You can go with Kempton, the youngster, as you know, the viewer pointed out, that hopefully younger players can see this, get excited, get in the game, aspire to get to this sort of level that Kempton's on. The other side, you have that redemption story of Chino Reem. So you got a little bit of something to root for either way. And coincidentally, they're pretty even in chips. Yeah, so this is going to be a really interesting match. There's still plenty of big blinds in play, uh, 53 and 46 respectively. Nothing but respect for Isaac Kempton, who had not played on a, on a, on a TV table like this up until very recently, and now it looks like second nature. Yeah, and he's, you know, he's done some interviews with Jeff Platt. He did, did one at USPO. He's done some stuff here throughout this event. I mean, he's very well spoken on camera. You know, you would think that he was like media trained or something, or he's done this dozens of times before, which is great to see. Ace high in the lead here, but King high, of course, still looking fairly good on this paired board. Not Tosses him not according to Kempton. No, what do I do? What do I know? That's, that's a pretty dis disciplined fold on a, on a paired board, heads up. According to TQ Suited, I'm the intern. It's a pretty good job for an intern. I'm enjoying myself, guys. Thanks all so much for tuning in. We're almost there. We're almost to 500 likes. Yeah, we still need 20 more subs. Boom, 500. Got him. Nice. Trevor Morin says, hey, Remco, how about a shout-out to Saskatchewan, Canada? Well, there you go, Trevor. Thanks for watching. Hope the snow is not too bad up there. Living in Vegas does make you forget that the rest of the world has winter. This is true. It, it's been it's been windy here for like four days straight. It's Have you been, been riding your bike? Yeah, I, ro I rode four hours this morning. How? It was windy. It was I can't even walk. I was sideways. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy out there. <laughs> it is. People are trying to come up with nicknames for Isaac Kempton. Let's let's hear your best suggestion for an Isaac Kempton nickname. And Brent Hanks is the one who usually does the nicknames, and he's come up with so many good ones. The Tractor, the Milkman. I mean, I'm calling him the Crypto Kid. The Crypto Kid. If he says he's a full-time crypto trader, I'm calling him the Crypto Kid. Um... Christopher Malta says Kempton looks like the Riddler. I don't see it. I don't see it either. So Robert Halstrand asked if this 25k heads up showdown is for Americans only. Or could better players from West Europe join too? I, did any Europeans play? I know Tomo Nakamura played from yep. Japan. Exactly. That's e that's Eastern Europe, but like so far east <laughs> that you're in Asia. Um, 
But I don't think we had any uh, Europeans in the field this year. Um, th by the way, I'll throw this at you, Donnie. You and I were talking to Daniel Negreanu, and I posed him the question yesterday, saying, how many players would we get if this was a 100k buy-in? Mm -hmm. And he straight up said 32. Wouldn't it be incredible Sounds if we... like we're going to have to make it happen. Like, Fader Holtz, if you're listening, would you come and play? Like, can we get the Germans out here for a 100k heads-up event? Let's go. Nick Jackson on Facebook says, I'm in my 20s and rooting for Reem. <laughs> That's awesome. He says, Kempton just doesn't have that style that excites. Let's bring back person. I love this about poker the most. That no matter who's watching, everyone has a different opinion on who's playing well, who's not playing well, and who you want to root for. Meanwhile, Kempton top two. Remace high. Stack still very close. Ooh, ace on the river. This is a brutal one for Kempton. As Reem now has the better top Two pairs, sorry. Reem certainly not passing up on the chance to get some value here. What will be interesting is that Kempton knows that Reem has checked back twice in value spots. Which is probably why he's like, hmm? See? Drop it, I guess. Is that an ace? Yeah, never no, mind. No chop. No chop. Okay. How much? 29. Kempton a little disgusted there before making the call, knowing that an ace is such a large part of Reem's range deck. And did you hear Reem? Reem kind of suggested that it might be a chop. You know, he, he ended up going for the value this time, got the value, but thought he might be chopping, just whereas before no, he you're, checked you're back fine. in those <laughs> two spots. The only other person I think would... I guess deemed close to European would be Alex Livingston, Nova Scotia. I mean, that's like <laughs> way up there, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's like almost in what Greenland, like I Iceland, like exactly close enough. Got to we're getting some fun suggestions for a nickname for Isaac Kempton. Ian Buchanan said no female players. No, but there was I think five invites that went out. So let let the record show that five female players were invited. Um, they all decline for various reasons, but I can assume that the next time we have this event, we're going to have quite a few women in there. Um, Hector asking, Donnie, this is a question for you. Are there any promo codes I can enter for the annual PokerGo subscription? And if so, where do I enter it? If you just go to PokerGo.com and click the sign up button, I think it's in the upper right. Go through the process that way. Or you can go to get.pokergo.com, sign up that way. Sign up for an annual subscription. When you get to the checkout, there will be a spot to enter a promo code. You can enter heads up 22. That'll get you $20 off the price of an annual subscription. It brings it down to less than $7 a month. I think it's like $6.83 or so, something in that range. But it's less than $7 a month for the full year. You'll get the rest of this heads up showdown. You'll get the high stakes poker season, the new season that's running now for the next couple of weeks. Obviously, the World Series of Poker, seven weeks straight, coming to you from Las Vegas. Great news for everyone watching right now. We're gonna do the rest of this match. We're, we're, we're feeling generous today. Rest of the match, Kempton versus Reem. Executive decision made by myself that we're gonna keep going. So you guys celebrating it in the chat right now. We're gonna see this through till the end. And then the final between Whoever wins this and Darren Elias will be at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Poker Go. Dr. Face says, Isaac, not from Compton, Campton. Tony's the crypto kid. Buzzsaw. No, he's, no? The, he's the crypto kid. <laughs> I'm sorry. We had the Cincinnati kid way back in the day. Now we got the crypto kid. Huge pot here. Reem betting 50k on the river. Recapping the action here, Reem raised 
before the flop to 9k, bet 10k on the turn, 23k on the river, and now 50k on, sorry, 23k on the turn, 50k on the river. Two pair for Ream against almost top pair top kicker for Kempton. Very tough spot here, Donnie. Ream going three streets of value. It is a tough spot. Kempton not having any spades. Ream having a spade can help him put a put a nice value bet in here. Gets it through. Wow. Kempton now below 100k. What an amazing fold here from Isaac Kempton in this in his heads-up format. I think Ream choosing to check behind top pair type hands in the past might have seen back at some of the money he's earned in the past few years. Two million back in 2019, but fairly quiet over the last four years besides that year already up to 588k in 2022 and he's going to add quite a bit to it if he manages to win this tournament it might be we got to do it we got to do a giveaway for hitting 500k right 500 likes yeah yes we have to um I want, well, I want what that you just said that 2019 when he won two million dollars yeah. yeah what event did he win that year wow that people can google that but they can answer whatever they want okay there we go all right so what i want to see how many people get it right what event did Chino Ream win in 2019? I will do a draw among all the people that get it right for the PokerGo mystery box. Let's hear it. I had a different question in mind. I was I was going to say, let's predict how many dollars he's going to win this whole year. Maybe we can do another giveaway. Yeah, if we get 50 more YouTube subscribers, we'll do another one. Boom. Hector says, thank you. Just signed up. You guys are the best. Somebody said EPT Monte Carlo. No. <laughs> I don't even remember what it was, so I'm going to be relying on you to pick a winner here. Two people have gotten it right. Three people have gotten it right. Four people have gotten it right. All right. All people right. are throwing out WPT. Well, first of all, which WPT? You can't just guess the whole tour. He won the World Poker Tour. He won it all. The, the whole the thing. The whole thing. <laughs> Every single He won the World Series of Poker. All of it. That's the same way that... <laughs> it's the same way that Phil Helmut always says he's a 16-time world champion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Phil wins one bracelet in a single year. World champion. Champion of the entire world. The, the entire universe. He should start saying universal champion. Exactly. I'm a 16-time universal champion. Donnie, could we be looking at an all-in here? All in and a call. Ace three suited versus Queens. This could be it. Within the hour, this could be it. Tough spot for Kempton, but he still has thirty three percent. Ace three suited is a is a monster in heads up play. The wheel outs add a lot of equity. Was that his, a, was his it clubs are clean. Excited? Chino doesn't have one. Who's got the higher heart rate right now? I think it's Kempton. Out of my I think hands, it's got to yeah. be Kempton. It doesn't have I to mean, be. I mean, Chino's, Chino's the been on a big okay. stage before. I'm feeling clubs. I think that's how it's going to happen. King high flop is that's not going to do Something it. Backdoor wheel draw, but no clubs in play. We're going to need some backdoor cards or an ace. Otherwise, Kempton is going to be eliminated. And we still got to pick a winner for our giveaway. Six on the turn means three outs and three outs only. Or we'll see a final between Darren Elias and Chino Reem in the inaugural PGT Heads Up Showdown, a battle for $400,000 and the Golden Crown. Let's see what the river brings. Stoic as ever, Chino Reem awaits the river card. It is the seven of hearts, and that means Chino Reem advances to the final. Isaac Kempton, GG, 100K for his run to the semifinal Thank and you. Chino Reem now guaranteed a 200k payday sure. heading into the final versus Darren Elias and I'm sure we're going to hear from Chino Reem almost immediately as he walks over to Jeff Platt here Still right away. The, the final of course happening at 8 p.m. Eastern time okay. on Poker Go commentary by Alina Jad and Brian Rast. All right, here's a look at the quarterfinals, semifinals, and the finals. It's now set. Darren Elias versus Tina Reem for that 400K payday. 
both guaranteed $200,000. I cannot expect any deals to be made because this is going to be for $200,000. It's going to be an exciting match. And we're going to, ha no matter who wins, we're going to have a very deserving champion here in this first ever Heads Up event at the studio. I love it. Great final, Elias versus Chino. It's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, it's the it's the battle of World Poker Tour champions. It is. It is. Seven between them, right? Seven between them. I think the POC that, that Darren won doesn't count. But, you know, how would you describe the run that you have been on in this tournament? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's sweet. It's really sweet. It's 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 pure. I'm, I'm running good. Like I said, you know, things are going my way. What kind of challenge did Isaac present to you in this semifinals match? Um... Honestly, I think I presented myself the challenge. Uh, I started off with a good lead, and I, you know, started putting pressure on him in spots where, like, you know, he, it wasn't too difficult of calls for him when he would have top air, and I would just have nothing, and I would just raise rivers and stuff. But um, uh, he was a tough match, and uh, the cards, I definitely had better cards than he did. They called Darren Elias the end boss. That's pretty fitting for Listen, this kind of a tournament, huh? Darren Elias is a beast, so uh, this is going to definitely be a fun, challenging match. I mean, uh, He's, he's a phenomenal player, and um, whatever happens, I'm, I'm really happy to get this far anyway, so whatever happens, is, it's all good. We'll see you for the finals. Thank Thanks, you. Chino. Appreciate Thank it. You. Guys. Wow. Big run from Chino Reem. He's in the finals versus cool. Darren Thank Elias. You. Let's wrap this up. Let's pick a winner. Donnie, give us a name. All right. One second. All right, I got Alan Knapp, I believe it is, K-N-A-P-P. -P. He picked the PCA main, which is the event that Chino won. Alan Knapp, A-L-A-N-K-N-A-P-P. -P. Head on over to discord.gg slash pokergo, DM at Remco, R-E-M-K-O, and we will hook you up with your prize. Exactly. So prize is coming for everyone, including Bricks Nation, who is now in the chat on, 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 on YouTube. We're going to get everyone sorted. Uh, packages will be out the door by Monday. For now, my name is Remco Rinkema. His name is Donnie Peters. Go on over to pokergo.com, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Watch the finale between Darren Elias and Chino Reem and save $20 on the annual subscription by using promo code HEADSUP22. The slate is already up. The stream has ended. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys at the next one.